breaking, gun owners forced to forfeit or go to jail after Whitdams just snuck in overnight. The crackdown on gun control had come to a screeching halt once Donald Trump took office, but that didn't stop Democrats from getting their way. Without warning or knowing what was going on, gun owners are now waking up to horrible news about their Second Amendment right which has just been incredibly infringed upon in a way that's beyond unconstitutional. Sneaky liberals plotted against Republicans and surprised everyone with what they were able to pass through the night, forcing law-abiding Americans into forfeiture or face jail time. The old saying goes that nothing good happens after midnight and that's certainly the case as people are realizing what Democrats did to people who legally and rightfully purchase their weapons. Starting on July 1, millions of people's armories are going to change for the worse as they are being forced to turn in the simplest of magazines for their guns that renders them ineffective. Of course, this doesn't apply to criminals who don't follow laws that liberals or anyone else makes they will get and keep their guns to use against the now defenseless. Beginning July 1, 2017, Californians will be forced once again to give up more of their Second Amendment right to the state thanks to the state's liberal leadership employing the use of fear-mongering to get their way once again. They are asking the citizens to turn in their gun magazines that hold 10 rounds or more. They are asked to forfeit all of their magazines that hold over 10 rounds, to local law enforcement an authorized gun dealer who might purchase them from the person, or they can ship them to someone in a state that don't share similar laws. While the people of California are being forced to give up magazines that they spent their hard-earned money on and once legally purchased, the state is also not offering any compensation to those who comply with the law. Although the forfeiture is voluntary, because law enforcement also doesn't have the capital to search and seize the magazines, they are now criminal to own if and could lead to punishment if you're caught in possession of them. However, this is just the start of a long list of constitutional breaches in this particular area. Even though owners are allowed to have magazines that hold 10 rounds or less, they may not be able to get any bullets to put in them. According to the Sacramento Bee, starting in January, Californians who want to buy ammunition online or through catalogs will have to ship their purchases through a licensed dealer. In July 2019, ammunition buyers will have to undergo background checks at retailers. Under the existing rules, anyone age 18 or older, 21 or older for handguns, can buy ammunition without a background check, and sellers need no special training or license. The gun controllers in California don't care that none of these laws will stop criminals from getting high-capacity magazines or from getting ammunition without a background check, the Federalist Papers reported. Because these people don't actually care about stopping criminals, they only care about controlling law-abiding citizens who simply want to practice their fundamental human right to self-defense. The government hits to the gun owner don't stop there as today the U.S. Supreme Court declined to review a law that would allow California's citizens to apply for a concealed carry permit. The current law states that unless you have good cause to have a permit, you will be denied that right. Ordinary, law-abiding people, now not only don't have the right to carry anything over 10 rounds, they can't conceal either unless they can convince the unrelenting government of their need and right to do so a burden which is completely on the individual. Justices Thomas and Gorsuch both state that the court should have reviewed the appellate ruling in this case. Thomas said the decision not to hear the case reflects a distressing trend, the treatment of the Second Amendment as a disfavored right, Fox News reported. The liberal government of California continues to stifle the rights of gun owners in its state. It does this while it grants a safe haven for violent criminals in its sanctuary cities. The hard-working taxpayers aren't allowed to effectively protect their families because the rulers of the state continue to believe they have a better understanding of our Constitution than our forefathers. Others.